Hello and welcome to this video. Um, in this video I'll be talking about RMSE or root mean square error and exactly how to calculate it. Um, as you probably know it's one of many ways used to predict the accuracy of a statistical model. Um, I think we use it a lot in programs that we that analyze <clears throat> um, predictive models um, but we don't necessarily understand um, how it's calculated or we may have learned it a long time ago but forgot. And so I just want to go over with a very, very simple example how to calculate RMSE, or root mean squared error. So let's look at the formula for this. Uh, I'm just going to write it out real quick, and then we can talk about what it means. Okay, so this is the formula for root mean squared error, which basically is the difference between the forecasted, which is our F, the observed, which is our O, um, squared, and then you take the mean of that, the average, and you square root it. So it's actually the same as standard deviation. The only difference is that instead of taking the difference from the mean, which is what you do in standard deviation, um, you take the distance from the observed or actual values. Um, so looking at this graph right here, um, these light bluish green dots are the actual, and then the yellow, and this red line, those are the regression line and the predicted values. So let's just go through it and calculate it real quick. Um, let's start off with x equals 1. So we have for the actual, we have 1, 2.5, and, and then for the uh, predicted 1, 1. So 2.5 minus 1, difference of 1.5. Um, let's do x equals 2. Um, actual value is 2, 2. Predicted is 2, 2.5, um, which is going to be 0.5. Um, let's go x equals 3. So the actual is 3, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And then the predicted is 3, 4. So difference of 1. And then for the final one, x equals 4, um, the actual is 4, 4, and the predicted is 4, 5.5. So a difference of 1.5. Um, so now that we have the difference, which is this f minus o part, um, we have to square it. <clears throat> so 1.5 squared is 2.25. 0.5 squared equals um, 0.25, and 1 squared is 1, and then once again 1.5 squared is 2.25. Um, and technically you could um, portray these as negative or positive depending on where the dots or where the where the data falls in comparison to each other um, but since we're squaring them it really doesn't matter and that's kind of the point is um, we're, we're taking away we're making it so that negative positive doesn't matter we're just measuring the actual distance um, so let's get the total for that um, is 5.75 and then to get the mean divided by four since there's four data data points that equals 1.4 that is a 3 or 375 uh, okay so now we have the average that's this part we just need to take the square root of it the square root of that is 1.199 and so that is our RMSE 1.199 um, now remember, the lower the RMSE, the better, um, because that means that there's less variation, that the predictions were actually closer to the actual values. Larger means the predictions were a little bit further away. And that's it. Hopefully this is helpful. Um, it's a very simplified version, obviously. There can be much more complex plots and graphs, um, but this is the very basics of how to calculate RMSE. Thank you.